first elimination of the 24th annual and 1999 Canadian Trotting Classic. And they're off and trotting. C.R. Commando has a fast gate move this time and comes right out to the top. Raffaello Ambrosio, fortune winner, pursuing on the outside. First time at the wire. C.R. Commando, fortune winner at the outside. Raffaello Ambrosio plugged into the pocket neatly. I look like my mom is through in fourth. Tony Chin was away in fifth. Conquer all is sixth. And Solid Oak is back there seventh and last. C.R. Commando, fortune winner, has got no options but to try to back into a hole. Closing that pocket position is Raffaello Ambrosio. CR Commando went the quarter in 28 seconds flat. That's Carl Allen with CR Commando in front as they turn it up the Woodbine backstretch. Raffaello Ambrosio is going to take a pocket journey and measure this heavily favored world champion of a leader on the way to the half. Fortune a winner battled early and sits at the inside third. I look like my mom is on the inside fourth. Tony Chin stays in from fifth. Conquer all second from last and Solid Oak trailed the halftime was 59 and 3, 31 and 3. In the second quarter, a huge second panel breather for CR Commando, getting loads of respect as they move to the far turn. Now I look like my mom ranges up on the outside. Raffaello Ambrosio is taking the pocket journey. Conqueral is up suddenly into the race. He's a second over a fourth. Fortune winner is on the inside fifth. Solid Oak sixth on the outside, and Tony Chin trailed. Here's three quarters. CR Commando up top a length, then the rest of the pack, 130 and 2. 30 and 4 in the third. CR Commando had a middle half of 102 and 2 from the quarter to three quarters, and he's got to be turning it on now through the stretch by two lengths. CR Commando. Raffaello Ambrosio is clinging to second. I look like my mom, the outside third. Solid Oak is widest of all. CR Commando. Raffaello Ambrosio along the inside. CR Commando won it by ahead. Raffaello Ambrosio was second. I look like my mom, third. Fortune winner was fourth. Solid Oak was the fifth qualifier. CR Commando in 158 and 1 in the first Trotting Classic elimination. Okay, just a couple of quick words here from winning trainer driver Carl Allen. Got some very nice fractions. The uh, object in these eliminations is to both win the race and try and save a little for next week. And Carl, you definitely saved some for next week here. Well, we had a lot of gas left in the tank and. Uh, and that's what we're doing. We're looking for next week. And as long as we go easy, we'll go easy because uh, there's an, only so many speed miles there and we didn't want to take them out here. I'd like to take just a minute to wish one of our top people back at the Meadowlands happy birthday because today is her birthday. So happy birthday to Sarah. Okay, Carl, you said he was comfortable. 27 and 4 coming home over the final quarter mile. Is he the colt that can uh, pick up his speed real fast or does it take him a while to get into gear? No, he can get in gear too quick. That's the reason we have the hobbles on him because he never makes a break ordinarily but we have the hobbles on him because he can get in gear a little too quick and uh, so that's what they're there for, just insurance. Okay, CR Commando and the Commander-in-Chief. Congratulations to Carl Allen. Best of luck with CR Renegade in the sixth. Just want to thank everybody here because they've been great to us here and uh, it's always a pleasure to come here and we're looking forward to coming back for the Breeders' Crown. We're looking forward to having you back, so congratulations once again. Best of luck throughout the rest of the night and the rest of the year with these uh, pair of talented trotting colts. Okay, thank you very much.